Welcome to our Devos this week, where we are talking about encouraging ourselves in the Lord. You know, the Bible gives us the, the kind of intimation that we are responsible for encouraging ourselves in God's presence, that God gives us that opportunity every single day. But so many times, we don't choose that. So over this week, we have been looking at different ways that we can encourage ourselves in the Lord and what we can focus on. And today, I'm going to give you something super simple to do. I want you to start to talk about what God has done instead of what we think we're missing. Talk about what God has done instead of what we think we're missing. If I were to audit your speech and really start to examine how you talk about your life and how you talk about your days and how you talk about your relationships. You're either going to fall into one of two categories. You're going to be a person that speaks out of the abundance of their life or somebody that's constantly speaking out of their deficiencies or their deficits. You're not going to fall in the middle. It's going to be one or the other. You're a person of surplus or you're a person of deficiency. I want to encourage you to start to talk about your life in terms of the good things that God has done. Even if you might be new to the faith, even if you're struggling at a particular period of time in your life in which you are going through a valley, you're going through some sort of season of waiting, or you're going through some sort of season of uncertainty. I mean, for crying out loud, we're in the middle of this horrible election season. There's so many things that we could talk about negatively, but what I want you to do instead of that, I want you to flip the script and I want you to talk about what God has done and how good God is in your life. It says in Psalm 118, verse 17, he says, I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. If you are struggling to find something right now that's going on in your life, I want to encourage you to open up your Bible and look at all the different things that God has done. He is responsible for creation. He created the heavens and the earth. He made them out of nothing. He is responsible for all of mankind. He is responsible for the galaxies and the beauty of nature, the things that we don't understand. God has made them, and it was nothing for him. Jesus Christ died for us. His Death on the cross covers our sins. We can always recount on the deeds that God has done. That's why we're alive. We're not alive to talk about what we're missing. We are alive to give praise to the God that has called us out of darkness and delivered us into light. And if you focus on God's good deeds and not on the deficiencies, if you focus on what he has done and what he is doing instead of what you're worried about or what you're missing, you're going to be encouraged. You're going to approach life with a whole different attitude because you have encouraged yourself in the Lord.